welcome to the Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. Tonight, it's the heads up stages where the players in positions 5th through 8th in the league compete against each other in best of three heads up matches. Coming up later, Tony G, 5th place in the league, taking on Vicky Korn for a seat at the final table. But up first, it's 6v7. Annette Overstav first roll into Wolf, and there's nowhere to hide. It would feel amazing if I won this, not just because of the money, but you know, just being able to beat all these guys' ass and then being able to brag about it afterwards is going to be amazing. This is the start of the journey or the end of it, but hopefully the start. I feel good about it. I think I'm going to win today, and I think it's the start of going deep in the final. I just can't help thinking that I, I have an edge here. Players walking on for the first heads up match. This is big. Annette Oberstad versus Roland DeWolf for that seat at the final table. And Nanad, uh, how do you think it's going to play out? Who would you make a favorite here? Uh, it's tough to say. I haven't really seen Annette play that much heads up, but uh, I know Roland's a tough player and he mixes it up a lot, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Chips on the table. They both start with 100,000 chips, as always. Yellow chips worth 1,000. Blues are two. Reds, 5K apiece. The rules of this format, it's 21 hands a level, and they're going to play a best of three matches. Uh, so really important, I guess, to get off to a good start. Ah, uh, yeah. I looked at the structure. It's a really good structure. So I believe uh, cool. the best player is going to come through over here. No worries. There's going to be a lot of flops, turns, and rivers. So a, a lot of play uh, a lot of play is going to happen in the first in the first round here. And a reasonable start for DeWolf, a bottom pair. It, when your head's up, bottom pair is usually good, isn't 3, it? 3,000? Yeah, well, you don't fall too much in love with it, but it's uh, good enough to to at least uh, to at least call, so. Call. Bet and call, and yep. uh, Annette, we'll have to see if she's done with the hand. She knows she's behind. Um. Well, well, she picked up a pair on the, on the turn here, so it may go check, check here. That's my prediction, but um, from what I've seen, Annette has uh, she has a good good sense of where she is, where she is in the hand. Uh, I've seen her make some really good folds here, and uh, pretty quickly as well. So it's going to be an interesting cool. matchup. And the very first hand's good call by DeWolf there, isn't it? Very good call. Wow, what a river! The flush did get there, but uh, she she did hit the. The three deuces, which is which is a very strong hand, heads up. I mean, if Roland was 12, putting her on a bluff, which it looks like he was, I mean, he can't really assume that that deuce helped her. I mean, you know, could he put her on a flush draw here? Yeah, now he's pretty confused. Now it looks like she either hit the flush or or she has uh, nothing. That that's probably what he's thinking here. Roland is uh, a little confused now. Deuce, cool. Oh. <laughs> that was a rough river card, and for Roland, you know, you see that, and you think, is it just not going to be my night, Nanette? I mean, he, he made good calls all the way. Yeah, that was, uh, he, he had a good read all the way, oh, and then uh, that river didn't look like it could possibly help her unless uh, she had the flush draw, so. But uh, it was just very unfortunate spot for Roland oh. there. He made a good read, and he stuck with his read. No race. Uh oh! Wow, big flop for uh, Roland here, but he again okay. he's limped in with Ace Nine. Three thousand. He may get some action here from uh, Annette. She's flopped the bottom pair. Cool. She's thrown pretty thin. Wow, she's going to lead out here. And is Roland's hand so Eight big thousand. that he might just choose to call here? Well, he, he's going to he's going to put the pressure on with the raise, which also uh, he's going to take it down. But out in that spot, uh, I I like to just call just in case. Float me out of position and then just bet any time. You know, that's something. I had something. I know you did. You did that last time, float me out of position with a 10-7 on the 855, <laughs> and I knew you were doing it. So I didn't have, I, like, I think you were good even. They're right back to even almost. Cool. 
Change of style here. I'm Happily check. In. Friends check. No race. <laughs> check. 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 Rolling my bed, isn't it? Check. Just taking her foot off the gas Check. a little bit here. Hmm. After losing the pot. Nobody really has anything here. If somebody somebody leads out with a bet, looks like Roland's gonna try to take it down. Most likely will. 6, He's bet six into four. A little bit of a strange bet, and it looks like Annette is thinking about this. Does does Queen High have some value here? Huh. I mean it's winning. It is winning, but uh this would be a very impressive call if if she can make this. She, I guess she has to kind of read. What what is this over bet of the pot mean? Is it that's weak exactly or what she's thinking? Yeah, but uh, uh wow, wow. Just tonight. Oh, this way, good. Nice. <laughs> you win. Oh really? <laughs> very impressive call there by Ned. <laughs> nice try though. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. Wow, and that's a that's a little needle, isn't it? That's pretty strong. Yeah, Roland uh Roland announced that he had an eight there. It's a funny bet. Whatever I bet you call. Cool. No, if you bet four K I fold. Three K I fold. Yeah. She made a good read there. She wasn't sure what Roland would be betting there with the over bet. The pot was only four thousand, Roland bet six thousand, so she she put him on either a really big hand or nothing, so she uh, <laughs> made a very, very world-class call there. Nice try. She said, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. And uh, I think I know Race what Roland's trying to do here. This is limp. And is it time for a re-raise? Or will he maybe even hang her if he... Um, re-raise, 15,000. Uh, Roland limped in. Uh, she made a big, she made a pretty big raise to 7,000. And uh, Roland uh, re-raised that up to 15. So looks like he's going into... He's going into trap mode. He he made a small re-raise here. Wow. Re wow. Annette is here He's to got play. her. He's got her, hasn't he? That kind of sucks. Wow. I'm going to pass. Big. Really? How yeah. high? Tens. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm so dead. And uh, it looked like Annette kind of was having the run of this heads up, but what happened here, Annette? This was uh, this was a little different. Time. Roland uh, trapped her. Stay out. I mean... I mean, I am suited. I have a favorite. <laughs> You're like 60-40. Slightly <laughs> better. She kind of uh, thought that he was tilting a little bit, perhaps, from maybe, the last yeah, hand. Yeah. Well, maybe she thought she can push him off uh, off of a decent-sized yeah, hand. Yeah, just a tiny bit better now. <laughs> just a tiny bit. I can get a 7, though. 7-9? Seven, yeah. Very, very bad flop no for hearts. Annette here. <laughs> she's going to need uh, she's gonna need a lot of help here. No. Nope. Going to be yeah. tough. Roland's going to double gonna up here. Tough. Unless I get two more cards. And that's going to be down to, what is it, 38,000? I'm not objecting to it. <laughs> Very big pot there. Very yes, big sir. pot there. Don't worry about it. As long as I have at least one live cards, it's not a problem. Well, oh. Roland has picked up a... Wow. He's had picked up two queens. Let's it? see if he gets some... Oh, yeah, he will. It's gonna, nice. They're going to cool. get it all in here. Nice. He's had queens, tens, and the queens as well. Well, like I said, I have an overguard. So I like my chances. Roland gets it in with the best hand here. <laughs> you have three to hit, but I have two to hit. <laughs> okay, well, you don't need to hit. You got the nines, too. Both flushes working. Yeah, if I get two of them, yeah. They both played this hand, wow. That's, That's, That's not a good card. Yeah, looks like the wolf like, is on the board, sweat. Nanad. I'm trying yeah. to think of ways here, but I think it's done. I think I'm pretty dead. There is no way. He Look at that. She is drawing dead, which is very hard Go to on. do on the, on the flop. Go on. Looks like Roland is going to take the first match. He he played really Four well. Points. Patiently, he picked up the hands. Yeah. And uh, he's going to take it I, down, I but uh, he still has a long way to go to finish off Annette. She's not going to she's not going to back down. Well, DeWolf taking that first match on the strength of the pocket tens. And uh, that's a pretty big lead, of course, being first on the board. He only has to win one more. The so one nothing and the reallocating the chips, 100 each. Um, 
I mean, does Annette have to think about changing her strategy, or is it basically sound what she's doing? Well, no, I think uh, she's going to stick with her strategy. Cool. Roland, uh, well, it, it seems like he's limping a lot more than he is raising. Raise 5,000 more. Cool. And that just kind of shows you, Nanette, that he's not prepared to re-raise lightly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he's limping in every hand, and... Uh, I mean, he must feel like the ace eight is good a lot of times here. Yeah, yeah. But um, it is strong for Annette to re-raise, uh, I mean, uh, to raise out of position. So maybe Roland's playing a little bit cautiously. 9,000. Hmm. If he talks himself through this cool. hand, he can really only be calling here if if he's got this read that she was she's bluffing the whole way. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, he uh, he does have position. That's the that's the uh, in in heads up, uh, no limit hold him. That that is uh, that is key. She's picked up a flush draw. Yeah. I think she might just lay it. I mean, is she if she starts betting here, she might have to be willing to lay it all on the line. Like, I mean, yeah, this is a very very interesting turn card right here. I mean, if she bets. She might be willing to go broke here. 16,000. Yeah, wow. Like right now, if if Roland calls here, doesn't she kind of have to stick it in on the river? What? Wow. <sighs> She's going to win it right there. Very, very good bet right there. Not sure if that's nice hand or well played. Probably we'll see. Well. Probably well played. In some ways, that was kind of her whole Premier League there with the eight deuce suited on the turn. Yeah, well, I, I think if Roland would have re-raised it, uh, she would have been able to get away from uh, the hand there. And Annette has, what would you say she's been, what her, her sort of percentage is, that she sort of raises the button about two-thirds of the time and limps about a third of the time? Is that a... That, 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 that would be uh, kind of accurate, yeah. Two-thirds, maybe uh, three out of four almost. Cool. But, um, yeah, she's uh, she's been uh, playing pretty aggressive pre-flop. But uh, Roland, Roland only re-raised her, I think, maybe one or two times. So Check it. Check. Wow. Well, this is what a flop here. Th th this, this is the first kind of cold deck situation we've had, isn't it? Yeah, this is a very unfortunate spot for uh, Annette. And... Could she get stacked off here? I mean, it just depends how, how the hand gets played on the flop, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. it's uh, very easily she uh, she could lose all, lose all of her chips here. Right. Roland, yeah, he's going to play it fast. There's a lot of draws on this board, so uh, I don't really see her folding it. And uh, very likely that she, she uh, even moves all in here. The, there is a very big chance that Roland is does have uh, nothing here, and he's just, he's just playing the fact that... Annette has been playing aggressively. He could be easily making a move, but uh, yeah, Annette is gonna make the call. She's playing it a little slower. Uh, she could have made a raise there, but she's gonna see what Roland does on the turn here. I mean, let's face it. At the end of the day, the top pair, top kicker, is a pretty big. Well, wow, she's this is <laughs> a very unfortunate card for Annette right there. She actually gave herself a chance not to go broke, didn't she? But the deck is just... Uh, she did, yeah, but a very unfortunate turn card right there. Roland is confused here. He almost has too good of a hand. He doesn't know how much, uh, what to do here. It may be a step away from the final table. Now, Annette, Annette has more chips than him, so she can't actually go broke here. 15,000. But, um... She'll, she'll just look at this. I mean... There's, she beats everything, basically, doesn't she? She, I mean, she, to... she doesn't even. She, she's drooling right now inside. Uh, she doesn't know if she should raise or slow play or. <laughs> Rolling's just praying she's got something. Yeah. I mean, there's no sort of line of thought where she could be saying to herself, well, if I go all in, I can only get called if I'm beat. I mean, there's the, the pot will be big enough where actually she can get called by a lot of draws and oh. things, can't she? Or Yeah, wow. She she uh, just makes a call here. Very, She's very playing like J.C. Tran. Yeah. If she can somehow, wow. That's actually a very good card for, uh, for Annette. Is there any way she can pass to an all-in? To an all-in was pretty much... Uh, Almost everything did get there. The the straight got there and the flush got there. 
And if Roland can uh, move it all in here, that's uh, it's going to be a very interesting spot for Annette. 32,000. Should have pulled it a flop. Wow. 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 <laughs> very, very impressive hold right there by Annette. She, she's really impressed me this week. Such a bad feeling there. I think the river card is saving me. She said should have folded the flop. She she really did. Nice she, she's inside his head. That was very, very impressive play by Annette right there. That was just amazing. And uh, DeWolf, an opportunity there to uh, almost seal the deal. As it is, he's just over average and has the one one nothing lead. But wow. Interesting there. She picks up an ace and uh, she decides to limp in. She's uh, mixing up her game a little bit. Is this about mixing up the game? Is it about them having kind of equal stacks now? I mean, no, well, well, she, she's been raising the whole okay. time, even when they did have uh, equal right, stacks. Right. But um, she may be trying to trap a little bit here. 3,000. Cool. And she, she does have this. I mean, you can see by Roland just calling this, he really, when he raises on the flop he really does have a big big hand i mean you know he's Jack. just yeah he uh he, he's happy to play uh small pots right. and try to trap her but um looks like he trapped himself here uh annette has hit uh hit hit the ace on the turn and um the way roland has been playing i don't think uh it's gonna be very hard for him to to get rid of this hand here I just wonder if all of a sudden that Annette's found something that may be a little bit exploitable and that he's actually not doing any any raised bluffing, really. Yeah, yeah. She can continue to uh, fire, and if she gets played back at, she can uh, just get rid of the hands. Raise to 19,000. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Roland is going to get aggressive here with his uh, queen. And she, she, she folded it instantly. She yeah. was in really good shape. So he actually did he set that play up in a sense. Yeah, he's been uh he's been he's been playing uh very tight and every time he's raised he's had it, but uh very good read there by Roland. I guess she put him on a strong hand, so Wow quickly good. fold. That was a interesting hand there. Raised to four thousand total. That's almost a, almost oh, a check. <laughs> Not quite. Min raised by Annette, called by DeWolf. And wow, what a flop. Wow, this is all over. This okay. is this I mean, is this I mean. is amazing. <laughs> wow, Shut check check. And uh DeWolf has I mean, th there's only eight thousand in the in the pot, but you could see both players getting their whole stacks in here. Seven thousand. On the which, flop, uh, yeah. the diamond is a bit of a scare card, but uh, Annette does have a diamond in her hand. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see if she puts a raise in here. If all the chips do go in, cool. she's gonna slow play. Wow. Well. She's drawing dead to a six right now, yeah. or a, a three to split. Yeah. A deuce would just be disaster. It's the second full house he's had to her three of a kind. Yeah. Let's see what Roland does here. Looks like he's going to make a pretty big size bet here. 24,000. Yeah, the pot is 22, and he's made a little bit of an over bet. Now, if if she can get away from this one, I'm just I'm just going to be I'm just going to be really amazed. Just because of the way she's played it, I mean. How can you fold? I mean, yeah, this. <laughs> there are a lot of hands that beat her, but um, playing heads up, having three kings is a very strong hand. Full house. Cool. Yeah, I knew it. She she did pay it off. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very good bet there this by Roland. Feeling again. Oh, play. Thanks. I guess. Did you flop a straight on the other hand? Can't remember. That hurts, and uh, for some reason, Annette 
she has managed to stay in chips, which is amazing, but she's really wounded. Cool. Raise 12,000 more. Did she limp to reshove? Wow, yeah, it looks like it. You raise all in and a filter. Wow. And a quick call. Quick call. This could be it right here. Uh, it, it, it's almost like Roland kind of like my chances a knew what her range stuff. was right yeah, away there. Once. I know. There's the, the queen. queen! Right on the flop for Roland. Oh, could be Roland at the final. He needs to walk out now. Oh, only a three. No. She's played well, but uh, she, she's been very unlucky here. But yeah, that's going to do it for her. Again. It is DeWolf at the final table, and she has played some good poker here tonight. 2-0 for DeWolf. He will go through to the final table, taking through his point total. He'll have 220,000 at the final table. For Ned Overstad, it's been a great Premier League, sadly over now. All the good cards I've had, I've pretty much had to fold, or I've been sucked out on, or... You know, it, nothing has really gone too well for me this entire week, and I, I'm pretty surprised to even have gathered as many points as I did and gotten through to the, the semis. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my performance. I don't think I could have done too much better. The first heat, I think she made a small mistake, and I, I was took advantage in the second heat. I, I ran really good. Coming up after the break, it'll be Tony G versus Vicky C for that last seat at the final table. Can I get another glass of wine? Is there another? <laughs> One more glass of red wine. <sighs> Thank God. The wine's kicked in. Welcome back. We've seen Roland DeWolf secure his place in the final with a victory over a net overstad. Coming up now, Tony G and Vicky Corin square off. I've had a good Premier League. They're very pretty solid. I'm happy with, with how things went. Not too many big mistakes, played a bit tighter than usual, but got me the 26 points, which should have been enough, but it wasn't, and now I have to play for it, but at least I'm in there. I, I love a bit of heads up. I mean, obviously I'd have preferred to qualify directly for the final. I'm annoyed because I was running great, and then my last two matches I dropped some points, and I find myself in the playoffs, but uh, I've been here before. I won them last time. Heads up, match number two, and it's the big mouth against the little lady, Roland. Uh, I mean, congratulations, first of all, through to the final table. Thanks very much. It feels great to be back at another final. And now looking forward to these two great competitors battling it out. Vicky is, uh, she wouldn't uh, grudge me saying this, but she, she is probably considered, if you took a poll of all the players in the league, she probably would uh, be considered the weakest overall player. I don't think she considers that herself, and I'm not saying I do. I, I probably don't consider that. Wow. But, but raised you know, that's the reputation she has. We raised to 22,000 Tony's, Tony's playing pretty straight, a pretty straight game right now. Yeah, he is. I mean, he knows the value of, of this hand. Pass. <clears throat> Not sure what you're raising with. You're getting out of line, Vicky, I <laughs> think. <laughs> You're getting out of line. It's been a cagey match so far. Nobody's taken control chip wise. Race to 9,000 total. Tony's so comfortable rolled. It's the small pot poker has been at his choosing, and it just seems like he knows Vicky's game. Vicky, Vicky is, uh, you know, Call. a massive poker enthusiast and a, a poker personality. But she she hasn't had the same grounding as some of these guys, you know, working their way up. And it's tougher, but what an education. Wow. What a nice flop for Tony G. Um, I mean, Vicky looked like she was sort of halfway between re-raising and calling <coughs> their role. And um, she decided to play a trappy, which I kind of think is was, yeah. was kind of a nice play there. But now that she's missed, does she just have to let this go? I really hope she does. No, no, she's letting it go. Once the, the head tilts, then, then, then she's folding. Tony's made a pretty big bet, and I guess the rationale is that he's giving her the opportunity to really get on if she has something like a queen or jack. Yeah, or a bare heart. He wants to protect his hand somewhat and, and start to gain value. Pass. Flop the flush. You flopped a flush? Did you really? Wow. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> you can choose one card, they're both hearts. That one. 
Wow. Wow. Well done. You're avoiding disaster. All you have to flop is a queen. And okay, I mean, you can't really escape. 5 4. Connect connected. Ooh. Small connectors. You could have won. Could have just limped in. Me? See a flop. Why do I want to give you a flop when you've got four or five to hit some horrible two pair and I go out? Why would I want that? Call. Ready, straight. Call, call. Call. Okay, check. You need to put more in. Wait a minute. It's three and six. Yes, how confusing. <laughs> oh, that's what happened there. They had a... Um, <laughs> It confused me with the three. <laughs> Something horrible is going to happen in this hand. I'm putting my glasses on. This is all a very bad omen. I thought it was three, the blind is three. Oh, no. Yeah. That's been a little weird. I think that's what happened is Vicky put out the wrong amount and... Oh, she's out flopped him. Yeah, he's got the flush draw. Yeah, inevitable. There we go. All in. <laughs> she was right. How much was that? I mean, is it easy for Tony to I put her on a five here? Call. Yeah, he... Can you beat Even, a five? No. He's he's not in bad shape this anyway, right? It's about 50-50 either way. Or, I mean, the jack is actually a small a winning card card for him right now. No. Yeah. Come on now. Black cards. Black cards. A king ends it. Small black cards. Five ends it. Well, that's one she's done. Three clubs. She certainly has. A seven now, though, is an out for Tony. He needs a queen, a jack, a seven, a heart. Ah. There it is. Nice hand. Tony G takes I the first I had a one. Flush draw. You know, I was going to pass just because I felt it was an <coughs> ill-fated hand. You know what I mean? You knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I saw it. I thought I, uh, I should be winning on this flop, but it <coughs> felt ill-fated. Tony G taking the first and best of three. He is ahead one nil, and uh, that might let him open up his game. He might just go the same strategy. Start of this second match and. The onus is on Vicky to show Tony something different. Uh, do you think? I don't think she can let him get away with uh, quite as much as last time. She needs to. Right, she does actually need to mix things up. Cool. And this is a good situation for her. She's made a three and a half times raise and gotten called by Tony. Check. Check. Right. I mean, overall, if Tony's calling for three and a half times raises at a position with weak hands, right? He's going to get in trouble. Yeah, he's got a piece of it now. And I hope that, I hope that Tony is... Cool. Oh. <coughs> you hope that Tony... I hope for his sake that he could have just let that go. I mean, it's, it's tough from here. He's, he's got some decisions. I hope she fires again if it's a blank. 10,000. Interesting bet by Tony. Um. I mean, as it turns out, it's one of these weak leads, right? Where he actually is not planning to stand a raise. But does she know that? Pass. <coughs> You're in trouble. <coughs> I know that Tony's won that pot, Roland. But I think that if he starts playing flops when Vicky's making these big raises from the button... That's a good way for her to get even. I it mean, is. He has to miss, obviously. It is. Uh, she, he outflopped her there. Raise to 7,000 total. And again, he's going to get himself in trouble. Yeah, what is, he's just peeling off flops. Oh. It's, it's going to cost him. It is going to cost him. Great spot for Vicky! Wow, this is, this is it. Check. No! Oh. That's... And honestly, uh, Roland, I mean, a bet there looks weak by her because she bets all the time. Ugh. Check. 7,000. Cool. Well, I think she's actually just saved herself from, from being knocked broke. out. Yeah. You're absolutely right. This is weird, isn't it? Sweet. And she's probably... Check. Check. Is she going to be happy to check the river? Is there a value bet here for her? This is really dangerous. I think she'll check. It's like on one hand, she wants to check. And on the other hand, oh, what a great check. Well played, Vicky. On the other wow. hand, she feels like she could be criticized if she didn't. Look at that. 
That's unbelievable. Wow. That was a chance for Tony to, to win it all. She just stayed in the Premier League. Now, she's not out of the woods yet, been, but mean, that was that, like, was that was her exit hand right yeah, there. Yeah, that was. You know, oh. gets it all in. Tony's got a top pair with a straight draw. Makes two pair, makes a full house. And that's bye-bye, Vicky. Oh. Not losing too many chips in difficult situations is one of my best skills, but you don't win tournaments that way. I just get knocked out not as early as some others would. That's not the way to think of things, Vicky. That's not, you can't be negative. I think Tony really feels like he messed up there, and it seems to me he uh, he did, bro. He never gave that pot a chance to get big, did he? He he he. Well, she didn't really let him, to be honest. I guess he thought that she had an eight. He really thought she had an eight. You're not passing. They're are both you? tricky of here. Pair against an ace. Wait a minute. I've accidentally put on the non-prescription glasses. I have no idea what's out there. I'm going to check. <laughs> Vicky can win this here if she gets active, right? Tony can pick. Is pretty good at sniffing out this sort of weakness. Cool. I mean, I'm just thinking: is Tony's plan right now to check the turn? Yeah, it is. Wow. Not now, perhaps. It's a really bad card for G, wasn't it? It's the worst in the deck. Um, because Check. her hand Check. improved a lot, and while his got a lot worse. It's pretty, actually. There's 20,000 in there. If he's <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's playing the board. Yeah. Well, he was always playing the board, really, from the turn. <laughs> yeah, he was. But now, I mean, now his, the board becomes stronger. Right. 6,000. He'll probably just give it up. There's not much she could have called with on the flop. Yeah, that, that's it. And she took one off with King oh. High. Right. That river was actually bad for Vicky. Yeah. Cost her, her potentially some action. Can I get another glass of wine? Is there another? <coughs> one more glass of red wine. Thank you. 21 hands, blinds her to a two and four again. And she's, she's really on the back She's burner. made the right plays at the wrong times, and timing is everything. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. Are you very hiking much. up the blinds? I need it. The blinds are up, two and four thousand. Raise nine thousand. Tony total. G, just making a raise that's big enough to get the job done. Which is, it's nearly a min raise, but the fact is, he's been getting, I guess, the same kind of information rolling from the min he raise. Will. Oh no, oh. Vicky! Now you should be. That was the time. Well, again, it's only 2-4, you know. It's hard to put in 70,000. Right. Check. Check. You're doing well there to check behind. Yep. Check. 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 <sighs> 5,000. He picked it off. He picked that off, Roland. He did. That's the first time he has he has picked something off. Really? I'd be so pleased if Victoria could find a call here. How could she find a call? She's only got 59,000. This is, if she calls here and loses and any club beats her, Roland, she's like <laughs> But done. you have to think he's not going to be raising with, a, you know, some of them. When she raises like that, he, he really can only have the, the nut club. She's thinking about it. He looks nervous too. What did he see? What did he see? He saw a blocking bet. He's asked the question of her. You're raising on the river? He knows that she has to ha he has to have a, the king, basically. He can right. have the jack. You can't really have the nine. I mean, And if he has the king rolled, it's almost more likely that he's got two clubs, if you know what I mean. Because wouldn't he have okay. bet a king of clubs on the turn naked? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the way it's played down, if she thinks it back through the mind, it might not make sense to her. This would be a, a big turning point if she can make the call. Big. If she, can think, if she can put the pieces of the jigsaw together, it doesn't make sense, his be. raise. I'm sorry, this is really... Weird. Uh... And she has she has a really weak hand here. She does. She has she has nothing. She has the ace. I mean, 
She beats a bluff and a bluff only. He's not going to be value betting any straights or the other kinds. He has a very high club or nothing. And if she can just get this through, the confidence that she'll get from this could turn the whole match it on its head. It could turn the whole her whole Premier League around. If she calls here, she's going to have like a hundred. Wow! Wow! Well played, wow. Vic. Wow! <laughs> and the confidence she's going to get from that fantastic call. It's easily, easily the best move she's made in the entire Premier League. It's not an easy call. It wasn't an easy call. I'm sorry to take so much. She's going to take so much confidence with this. Well played, Vicky Cullen. I thought the river had potential. But you know what? You're a good enough player to bet there with the jack of clubs. That's my problem. You don't have the king, but you're good enough to bet with the jack. That's what I have to work out. <coughs> wow. How serious is she now? Wow. And you can see that sort of easy going. He's, he's kind of like picked up the pace a little bit, hasn't he? He's gotten a little more gritty. He may have to get gritty to win this, Roland. She's now Check. limped. No oh. Jeez, it. Wow. Very cagey from both. Yeah, Vicky had raised there. Tony might have shipped. Check. Check. No, Check. Vicky. Missing bets, I'm afraid. King would be a. Missing opportunities. 6,000. And that was a oh. clever little bet by Tony, isn't it? Because it's kind of like he's been making some bluffs in that spot there. Wait until the king comes the and she gets the double up. 15,000. Oh, wow. Did I call that or, or, or what? <laughs> You've been in that room, have you? <laughs> I know what they do there. Oh, that's pretty sick. Tony is going to think this is pretty sick. If they get all the chips in, Roland, if they get all the chips in, Vicky will, will basically be 1-1. One, one. All in. You raise all in. <sighs> he gave her an opportunity to, to get out the door there. He knows if he calls and loses, he's going to have like 30,000 left. If he calls and wins, he's at the final table roll, and he's ten. got, like, second nuts. <sighs> I might have. He is going to... I'll tell you what he is going to do, Roland. He is now going to take this to the full time, isn't he? Yeah. The wheels are off as well if, if, if he calls. Wow. He doesn't need to call. 57 more. He's got... He's, he's 57. He's got about 87,000, I think. A bit of set. <laughs> I don't think you have that. She could have king and kings and jacks and make this move. Aces and sevens. A set of sixes. I call. I, I got call. it. He's going to be sick. Yeah. He thought about it, Roland. He really thought about it, but could not Hold fold. On. And it's turned on its head. The gut shot from Vicky. The wheels could be <laughs> off. off. 57. Is the 57. bike being revved up? 36,000 away from it being 1-1. One, one. And Roland, I mean, I actually thought, you know, Tony played that hand quite cutely. He played it very clever, didn't he? He did, and it was just such a horrible river. But now, Vicky, wow. She had the chance to go broke. She didn't take it. And now Call. she's almost going to go 1-1 one, one so much of the time here. She's a big favorite for 1-1, one, one, and it's, it's opened up again. Well, she's such a big favorite for 1-1, one, one, she might just want to play with him a little bit, just to make the agony, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get him revved up. You're mean, man. Well. Oops. Check. All in. 5,000, we call. raise all in, and call. And that is a case of her looking wow. at that winning awesome. line. It is. <clears throat> Um, now, she does have shots here, but all of a sudden, wow. Oh, that's a terrible card. She needs the five now. All of a sudden, G's going to have 72,000. Yep, and back, up, back with the game on. He looks very nervous, though. Oh, what have I got to give you back? 36? Nah. <coughs> <coughs> the worst call I made. It's like unbelievable. I made the call. Breaking on through the wall. Someone's going to grab the victory here after this.
Welcome back. Second match of this heads up and things now looking good for Vicky. Solid two to one chip lead over Tony G. Right. Going in. No. I don't know what Vicky's got. Nice Obviously, nice she'd love nice to have a eight. pair right nice here. Hand. It's it's a lower ace, I think, Roland. It looks like ace eight suited. Oh dear. Now, the good news for Vicky, obviously, if there is any good news, is that if Tony does double up here, he'll, he'll only be a, a, a slightly ahead. She has got, she's got a 28% chance to end this. Well? Does she feel the eight? Does she feel the eight? Five of diamond, the backdoor diamonds, he's got the backdoor clubs. That really, that changed nothing. Um, no. the, the king plays all the time here. Vicky needs an eight. She needs an eight. A date with an eight? No. Nice hand. Very unlucky, though. <laughs> it was, because overall, that was a time for her to, 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 to swing that move. I mean, that was a no-brainer play for her, yeah, right? Yeah, it was just a cold deck. You know, she had a hand that was so likely to be the best hand there. 95% of the time, it would be the best hand. not looking hand. like my day. <laughs> what would you make it? right now in this would you give Vicky a small edge in this match this not not the overall match but this oh, check no this set oh wow. my gosh this could be the this could be when it goes in she's not getting away from anything wow if she can lead out he might he might go all in please lead out Vicky 10,000 Cool. Either way, Roland, I mean, how is he going to get away from this? How is he not going to do a lot of chips? If she just bets three streets for value, it's like winning the heat. Maybe she can check. Why would checking be a good play? Because, you know, he might, he might not want to take a free card. This is difficult now for That's Tony. Awesome. She's actually played it very well, very strong. After the flop, she's convinced she had the best hand. Gee, she's bet she's bet nearly the whole pot. Thirty thousand. He's trying to shut him out. Yeah, I could have a draw, but he knows he's been shut out. <laughs> he made a good <laughs> land. Don't right. show it. Wow. Why would you show it? I don't know, Rose. It's, it's a massive error. Giving the other player the confidence. Oh, oh dear. Vicky Vicky. Amanda, you get so much stick from these devil fishes and so on. I want to tell you, that's the first time I've had aces in this tournament, and I'm very grateful. I think you're a brilliant dealer. I'm going to call blind. <laughs> really? Oh, my God, you've really thrown me with this blind call. Oh, I wish you hadn't done that. I wish he hadn't done that. Please just move in, Vicky. Okay. Um, she, he, she, he doesn't, she's up against a blind hand. Yeah, I, I don't get it, Roland. I, I don't understand that. Vicky, you're up against any two cards. Please bet. Please. Check. Check. Fifteen. How can you how can you call blind? <laughs> how can you call blind? Look what you've done to me with this blind call. Got to try everything. We can Very well laugh. played. Very well, you've screwed me with this blind uh, call. I don't know how he got in her head there, Roland, but that got was to try everything. that was yeah. a real curveball, and it was almost like he had her on a string there, like like he was a puppeteer, Roland. You can afford to lay down one more, and then you have I to can't. go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony. If you don't have the right hand, you don't have to move. Tony. Down. One more. All in. I think she'd I think she'd made up her mind. And she's gonna get it. What's her hand? I, no one knows. I wonder what much more. But he's only got six four. Thirty four. He's gonna fold here, Roland. Probably got the right odds to call, soon enough, since you don't have my any of my cards. Good luck, Tony. Wow. You got me beat. <laughs> Are you surprised he's called that? I'm a little. I mean, she's right back in it if she wins this. I, I, I really don't get that, Roland. I just got the right odds to call. Because she's just going to move, move yeah. in every time. She's, she's right, but... <coughs> well, there's only 88,000 here. 
This is Tony's chance. Maybe it's just his chance to go to the final table, Roland. And he's seen the finish line. Maybe four. Keep it steady. Take two pair. Queen or seven. Ooh! That's opened up for the redraws. <laughs> but Vicky's ahead. She is ahead. No club. A lot club. of cards for those. No club, Make no four, no six. Yep, she gets there. Yuck. Well, the best hand won, I suppose. <coughs> he saw his chance. Is Tony going to look back on that and regret it? This has to be all in, Vicky. Just no other choice. Go on. Go on, Vicky. Good. Yep, and she did. She she was willing to do it with it. And he can't call now with the How average hand. The difference is obviously calling and losing here, and he's... Uh, yeah, I mean, call and losing, he's in big trouble. But look, he looks like he's got it prepared, he has oh, called. Good luck in the final, Tony. This is <laughs> number two. This is Tony's so second tough. swing. At the ball, over the plate. Yeah. That's as good as I can hope. It's as good as it's gonna get. Can you keep it safe, Amanda, please? That's it. That is it. And, uh, Roland, I mean, Vicky Cord, she's had a, it's been a very memorable Premier League, but she's, she's played, she's played some great poker throughout the Premier League. The boy from the streets of Lithuania go into the final table. The G-Man. Tony G takes it 2-0. He really had to gut it out at the end there for Vicky Korn out of the Premier League and Tony G at the final table. All I can say is I went out fighting. I gave it a shot. I love Tony. I hope he does well in the final. I'm really too drunk to give you a completely coherent analysis, but I feel like I didn't go without a fight. I got over the line, I fell through, I sneaked through to the final, and I've got nothing to lose. I'm the one that can really go for it. Our final table lineup is complete. It'll be six players shooting for the trophy and $300,000. Next time on Party Poker Premier League Poker 3.